Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am uh, Dr. Firdos. My question is that we know from the hadith that Rasulullah told us about the fitness or afflictions of the Jal. And according to some of the hadith, we are informed that uh, the Jal will reach every house, he will show you water which you cannot drink. And he will show you fire which will not burn you. Uh, can we consider TV to be one of the afflictions of the Dajjal? First of all, the question that there are hadith talking about Dajjal which are Sahih hadith. There are some scholars including she has quoted that, that some of the scholars say that this television, you know, can't the Dajjal, one-eyed Dajjal, screen is only one eye, so this is the Dajjal. So can't we consider this as the Dajjal? There's no hadith saying TV is Dajjal, whether TV is or not. You know what we have to do? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that when you stand for Salah, don't leave any gap. Close in your gap. So that there's no place for the Shaitan. Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, book of Adhan, chapter 75, hadith number 692. The same hadith is repeated in Sunan Abu Daud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 245, hadith number 666. That when you stand for Salah, stand shoulder to shoulder, close in your gaps, so that the Satan doesn't come. Even if you consider this as the Dajjal, you convert the Dajjal into a Muslim. Change this TV media into a true media and propagate it. There is no proof that television is a Dajjal. But even if you consider it to be a Dajjal, what we have to do is we have to use this media to propagate the Haq. So that we can testify to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have tried a level best to convey the message to the world and give the message of Islam to the whole of humankind.